Okay, here's another video that's uh, a fun marketing video to show how to do email stuff. First thing we need to have is Photoshop. And then the second thing we need to have is a source of artwork that we like. And so, uh, I've kind of already made my mind up we're going to do a salt system special. And it just so happens that uh, what's her name's so Hayward has a rebate going on. Uh, let me see what did I do with it. I might have sent it back and forth between me and. Uh, Melanie and haven't received a, 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 a reply back. So we'll just try to see if we can type in Hayward rebate and if that's give us a little filter. Uh, that's the one from May 7th though. So let's just go ahead and look through the whole email for a Hayward rebate and hopefully we get something good at the top. Act now. May 21st. Mm, that wasn't it. Hayward $300, I think, was what the uh, thing was. Uh, rah, 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 rah. Just look up. <laughs> Sorry for the dogs. I'll do here till I find it. Uh, Oh man, that's a real bummer. I should all find that. It's not good. What do I want to do here? Oh, I know it was uh, the Hayward 3900 was on there. That ought to pull it out. There it is. Still from March 15th though. That's not possible. They just had a recent rebate. APS. Uh, let's try to filter by looking at their title. And then secondarily by their email if that doesn't work. Okay, got to find that email here. Next in warning, systems, survey, uh, rebate, salt and swim. That wasn't the one. What the hell happened to that? That's really going to piss me off. either going to be from here or from the Ecom 13 email address. It's going to be recent. No. So then it was Ecom 13. And maybe that. Maybe one too many amps. There it is, Palos Polar Bay. It took forever. Okay, we're going to grab our artwork from this. And what this is, is a mail in rebate for the consumer to get the money off, okay? So we're going to probably buy uh, 
<laughs> going to buy some and then uh, uh, do some posters and some emails about the rebate. Okay, so now I have my Photoshop open. I have an email. I'm going to have to find an email that we've done in the past. So we'll go to all around pools and spa stuff. And we'll switch the view to Photoshop so I can see actual original art that I've done. And let's see, some business cards, uh, storefront, uh, la 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 la, inventory, fill <laughs> out winner. Uh, those are postcards. Uh, something by date or some other weird thing. Looks like by date to me. We're going back that far, could be. Winter specials. Hmm. Oh yeah, that was the email toy cell. So it'll do, so we know that's the size we want, because it's the one we did before. Then we'll do a save as Photoshop, and we'll call it what it is. And what it's going to be is salt system sale. <sighs> oh eight oh three two oh one three. That's how I see my files. Also, when I'm first working on them, I put them on my desktop so I don't forget what they are, where they are. Okay, now all this junk, pretty much, we can use the logo. Most of these pictures got to go. We can use the address. Um, let's see what else to do with this. So first things first, we're going to look at... See what they have here. There's their rebate. We can actually post that on the website. Um, we'll have to actually print these too to give them to people. So what I can do is I can save it to my computer and then I can share it with anyone. Uh, first I'll just save it. And then what this here is, is the Polaris Combo 300 off deal. Okay, Polaris Combo 300. Well, that's enough. And then the date, 0803-2013. Same thing, save it to my desktop. Maybe some cool artwork on this that we can use, but I also think the other one was had sufficient uh, artwork. So we want to brand ourselves with Polaris because that puts our name, and plus we can probably submit this ad later and get um, some co-op stuff. And so what we'll do is we'll just copy that Polaris image and then we'll go to the top and we'll create a new layer and we can even name it if we want to Polaris but it just does a default name and then I put it in there and then I like to do is I'm going to scooch this way up here because I like that right next to all around pools and spots and then let's see uh, the next item was what the heck was that? Thirty five percent off toy sale. Okay. So where it says thirty five percent off toy sale, we don't really even need that one right now because I don't think uh I think we have enough text on there to modify this to make it work. Okay, now I want to get a nice picture of a Polaris. Hmm maybe even the coupon would be even better and actually I have a little trick that I do because this looks so good to me that uh, I actually um, do a print screen stop that a print screen 
And then what I do is I, I just put in as a new layer in Photoshop. Oh man. And, uh, uh, there it is. Okay, and then I can uh, make this just like a new uh, window which separates it out. But that makes it really cool because then I can drag it and drop it to where I want it to. Okay, and so using the edit tool, I can go to transform and then scale. And if I press my uh, shift button down at the same time, it takes it in scale uh, proportion to the correct proportion. So we could pull this out and make it fit nice and tight within uh, the other borders that are in there. And then if we really want to and it looks good enough, we can stretch it just a little sweet, teeny little bit. It's not going to affect the overall look of it. Or at least when you do it, you have to make sure that you don't affect the overall look of it. And that looks pretty sharp. And so we'll commit that and that over 500 toys and stock thing we may have to do something with that later but not right now so we'll drag him away to the bottom get him out of sight out of mind then we need some more pictures of Polaris's so the way I do this this is just images and then uh, Polaris most of them are right from the Polaris side. It's just so fast and so convenient. Uh, Polaris uh, pool cleaner. Sometimes you have to refine your website. Wow, look at all that. That's really neat. Plenty of fodder for, um, for um, stuff to put there. So we take and copy that image. And then, oh, no. Nah. What was that? Oh yeah, it's a separate window. I don't even need that anymore. Okay, and then I'll need another uh, layer. Oops, what it should have been really put at the top. And, uh, really? Okay. And I should have named it, and what's this going to be is Girl 1. And then I just paste it. Oopsie days. Control V. Paste it. Okay, so now we've got an image that goes well with this. Uh, and all I have to do is just kind of resize it like we did the other one using the transform tool. By the way, with the transform tool, you can drag things too, which is really cool and you just sort of line it up with the other one and then you can see it you know it's kind of big right there so we got to do our shift make smaller thingy and we'll just go ahead and we'll pull it out now we don't want this to look disproportionate from what it really is so there's our height okay that's really what we're working with. And then show you a little trick in Photoshop. Let's see, that's girl one. What was that thing down there? Bottom right hand corner. Where are you? Bottom right hand corner. Oh wait, first I gotta commit to change to the sizing that got stuck on me. Alright, bottom right hand corner. There you are. So now what we can do is we can actually just fuddle with this image if we want. And if we really want to be organized, we could say bottom right. EOT. Let's we'll do it all the way. T O M. Oopsie guys. I love this. Bottom right. Okay. Now what's cool with an image like this is we could do some funky stuff to make this all blend here and 
Let me give you an example of how that's done. Come on now. Oh, would you? Right there is good. Well, actually, right there is better, I guess. And then what we do is we have this. Uh, oh, oh, I see. You know, my computer is just uh, doing funny things because I'm recording this and it's going slow. So we'll view, we'll view, fit on screen, and then we'll just make it bigger and then be patient. <laughs> okay, all right, so that's fine. That gives me some place to work with. Now, why is this thing doing this? Hope I'm going to have my power and everything going. Uh, something's probably wanting to restart itself, and I need to tell it that it can't. You and I don't care about that. What is that? Detected the computer force. Yeah, we can say that again. All right, so we go back up here, and then this neat little trick. All you have to do is sort of slice off a chunk. And first here, we're going to make sure that this is exactly good enough. So we'll go back up, edit, uh, transform, scale. And then all we really got to do is just bring this up one little teeny pixel so that it matches the exact top of that right there. Which is that what we want. Okay, so we click over there and commit our change. Now we've got this image selected and all we have to do is take our little box thing and we can draw a box around a certain area Oh, don't do that to me. We can draw a box around a certain area. And then... <laughs> Sorry, the performance is really bad because I'm trying to video and I'm going to PC. Go to be my C at the same time. Alright, so what we do is called a cut paste. Control X, Control V. And then what we do is we take this little slice and we line it up as perfectly as we can with the other slice. And you'd be surprised. People want to believe that everything looks perfect. So if there's a little optical offness here and there, people are never even going to notice it. Alright. So now we put that one there. Now we put another one. And this one should be enough to stretch all the way across. Okay. And then if we wanted to be really fancy, we could cut out this piece and make it match up there and, and, and delete out these pieces. What we're going to do instead on this outside is we're going to just apply a pattern to it so it sort of creates a border but looks good. So we'll put a pattern overlay and we want it to be something that upsells our travertine stuff that we want to do. Uh, oh, that was good. Okay. And notice if we do then the same thing to the background. There it is. No? There it is. Okay. And then we can do the same thing and we can apply uh, some rocks around there. So that was a uh, pattern overlay rocks. Okay. Okay. So actually that's more of a marble thing. Sorry. Let me go back and fix that. Pattern overlay. Give my rocks. Was it that one or that one? Yeah, that one. Okay, so there's our rocks. Now I'm going to save this because there's a lot of stuff going on. I don't want to lose my work. That was just a control S. Took just about a second. Now we're going to fit this thing on the screen. Now we have some other images that we want to take care of up here. And I have an idea for this. What I'm going to do is try to find a wide image of a pool we can. Uh, Polaris pool cleaner with pool. Hmm. 
Let's see what we got. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of like this one a little bit. Come here, Daddy. Come here, Daddy. Don't play a game with me. Come here, Daddy. Oh, yeah, you're sweet. Okay, so I'm going to comp it that image. And then I'm just going to put it on the very top so I can fiddle with it. And uh, we'll just call this uh, Polaris 2. And then we'll do some little photo touching because it's a little bleached out. And a couple things we can do real easy is we do image adjustments and then, uh, well, actually, auto color would be good first. All right. And then auto tone. Auto tone. And you can see that made a difference. Now we can do auto contrast. And if it don't look good, we'll make it go back. No difference. Okay, now I'm going to do a custom edit because I still don't like it. And I'm going to uh, uh, just tune up the color just a smidge. So what we'll do is uh, levels. Uh, that's not the color I want. It's in RGB. Let me see here. Come on, where's the color? Mode, adjustments. There it is, color balance. I'm going blind here. Okay, so if we take the shadows and we make them all a little darker, and if we take the highlights and I'll make them a little lighter, just a smidge. The reason why being is there's a lot of mid-tones in here. And we take our mid-tones. Let's see what a little darker looks. A little darker looks. And a little lighter looks. And you can see we've really brought some color out to that image. And uh, give me a second. got to pause. Okay, very sorry about that. Alright, now we've got to go ahead and resize this image. And so go to edit, transform, scale. And this image was almost wide enough that I wanted to actually use as an entire background, but it's not. So we'll use it for the second largest image, which is the girl floating. And so, oopsie days, I don't think I pressed my control Z to undo or edit, step back work, backward. And here we go, the computer's a little slow again, I apologize. Come on now, step backward. Oh, I know what happened. I have to commit the change and then do control Z put it right back okay let's try this one more time uh, la, 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 la. Uh, 
transform scale. Now, while pressing this shift key so that it keeps in proportion, I can just draw it smaller and I can drag it to wherever the corners are supposed to be. And we're going to have to do some size editing on this one here. And so we've got to make it, oopsie days, at least as big as. the image that's there okay and then we'll commit that uh oh what happened there that was not supposed to happen step backward you know what happened I got funny fingers let me see if I can fix this without having to do it how's that look pretty good yeah okay so now we apply the change now all we have to do is is center this and then cut and then crop it and let's see, this is plus two. That was the girl that was under the mattress. I put him right under there. And then it makes it super easy for me to, as long as I have the blah, 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 that image selected, it makes it su super easy for me to draw precise areas to cut out so that the image matches. So I just do that. I draw another box and if you're wondering how I'm scooching it I'm just using the left arrow key and I scooch it and then hit the delete button I'm gonna have to do the same thing on this side all the way over to where it just fits and then we hit the delete button who's here? is that my wife? I just want to know who was, here, who was here. You scared me. Huh? You scared me. You're gonna let the door, mommy. I'm sorry, honey. I didn't hear you. Huh? I didn't hear you. A big car? Mm-mm. Rats. I'm trying to get a screen capture of that lovely, lovely, lovely thing that they had at the beginning. Let's see. We're going to stop. We're going to stop. And we're going to. Oh, I just got to hurry. Control, print screen. Oh, I wonder if they do that on purpose to keep you from stealing. Yep, sure, baby. Alright. There's always more than one way to skin a cat. I can find out what that image is. It's no way to figure that out. You guys are pissing me off. I don't know what happens when you go here. I just want some slicks on the rebate. Okay, that looks good. Copy image. And oh, sweet. Okay. Get rid of you. I don't need you anymore. And you were just a duplicate in life. And. I love this top one. What? I hope you have toy mail. 
Don't worry about it, honey. Look, I'm I'm doing a video right now, okay? Window. Drag this over. Minimize it. Put it the very top. Oops, it is. Put the very top. This is what we'll call the banner. Okay. And we take our banner and make it fit. Edit, transform, scale, control, or excuse me, shift, and then just move it around until it fits. Jerks. Huh? Yeah, it sucks, huh? Yeah. Can we size it there? Huh? I'm I'm talking about the video. Huh? We don't need this larger selection Newton County. We can actually delete that from our layers. And we don't need this series of these kids here. Which you guys? Where are they at? Uh, there. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. No. Yeah. Actually, we don't need it anymore. Delete something I shouldn't. Step backward. Step backward. Step backward. Step backward. What did I do with that other big fat nice Polaris that I had? Stupid video. Is that it? And there. So we'll just get rid of the other one that's confusing here. And then, now that we have that, we're just going to trim it just a little bit better. So that it is exactly even with the red one. Uh-oh. Control Z. That's something I want to do. Okay. Well, honey? You got what you wanted. Thank you, honey. And then, delete there, and that's good enough. Alright. Now, this is a big savings thing, back to where we were. These, these, these pictures here of these kids we don't need, so I think there's three of them. Yeah, one two, three. Okay, so we'll just highlight all of them and delete them. Don't need to be part of this anymore. And the large selection in county, that doesn't need to be there anymore. And then what we'll do is we'll take our nice banner and make it fit up here. Edit. Transform, scale, and pretty much use the same, same technique that we used before. We'll find a place where it fits and looks really good and has to be asymmetrically lined up with all the other uh, places. Oh, and can't reach the other side, so I'm going to keep it smaller here until I can get at it. Now I can get at it, and here again I can use my up and down keys to get uh, some perspective on where I want to be on this. And I know for a fact that I want it to be in scale, so I press my shift key and I want it to come to the 
edge where it matches up with the other. Okay, so we've got huge savings. Apply. What we can do is we can afford to spread things out a little bit. And we'll take that and scooch it up a little. And we'll take that and scooch it up a little. Oh, that's where that little blue chunk's coming from. Alright, that's easy to get rid of. Box, surround it, delete. Oopsie days, didn't want to delete all of it now, did I? Control Z. Alright, let's just scoot that thing over a little bit more, and then we'll delete it. Okay, so blue thing's gone, and then down here, I think it's this one. No, I do it then. There's two, oh, that's why. D, yeah, 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 leave it alone. D, arrow, uh, girl. No, it's supposed to be this one here. Oh, it's fine. And then what is this? Oh, yeah, my rocks, I want those. And then those are more rocks. There's my entire section. So what I'll do is I'll move it up, and move it over, and I have to do the same thing to. Over oh, here now, folks. I have to do the same thing to the adjoining properties. Make them all line up. Try to keep these white spaces even as possible. And it appears. Just gonna flatten this whole uh, this whole section of uh, layers, so that way it'll be easier to manipulate. And then I can go over and uh, transform scale. You need to pull it down because that bottom part's way off. And I'll commit that. And I'll go back and use my box tool and just line it up with the edge there. Draw it down, delete. This is actually pretty close. But I did want to also have a little bit of border at the bottom. So that's delete. So, now, the only uh, last thing that we have to do is uh, these don't go along with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get rid of them. I'm going to add another section of text. Ooh, what happened there? Uh, there? Uh, there. Oh, got it wrong. Okay, where's my 500 toys? Blah, blah, blah. Somewhere right here. Is that white? How about scale? Hmm, how about color? What in the world? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. All these other layers are covering it up. So I put it up all on the top, and uh, la 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 la. Let's see what the catchphrase is over huge savings. Uh, Rebor rebate forms at store. So we'll put. Rebate forms at store. And you're wondering, <laughs> really? So what I'm going to do real quick is uh, I'm going to send you the link to where the rebate form goes. OK. 
Okay. And this is to be filled out after they make the purchase from us. And so here we go. Polaris online $300 rebate link. Okay. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and paste it there for you. Oopsie days. Paste it there for you. Don't lose it. And this is, you can link, you click right to it. And then this is the rebate form. You just fill it out. Okay. All right. I'll go ahead and give you the link to the, the download rebate splash page too, which is where they can actually rebate the form rather than filling it out online. So here we go. Uh, we'll put online and then we'll put uh, uh, download and then in which case they have to um, print it up and then fax it or scan it and email it. There you go. We're going to be doing a bunch of emails and a bunch of cards coming up and I want people you guys to know what this rebate is and I'm going to actually forward this to you too also and read up everything there is about to, about the rebate because we can't be stupid when people come in and go uh, what rebate so please study Rebates. Okay, so there's that whole ball of wax. Oh man, how can this happen in just a few minutes? Oh, this crap. Google Merchant Center, data feed. Alright, gotta put that uh, over here. And anyway, let's not get sidetracked. All right, so now I've gotten up here and I've made my image. Uh, I just want to do this last little thing, which is to uh, whoops. Uh, make forms at store. see that bigger and then red okay so first we'll just fix the red part uh, uh, pick that color pick that color get rid of the drop shadow rebate it would help if somebody could spell. Okay, now we go ahead and make it bigger. This is going to hopefully drive people into the store because you'll notice there's no phone number and there's no email address or web address. Okay, so now I save this and then I'm going to save it as a, uh, a very high quality GIF and then this is what I'm going to stick into the, uh, into the email. The first one of you that actually gets a hold of Photoshop and I only pay $39 a month for mine for full version usage um, will get to get taught how to do the email marketing until then it's stuck uh, for me to do okay so I think I'm going to close this video out now consider the main topic uh, how to create an image to be used in an email uh, promotion we'll cover more on that later